Jane, really looking forward to seeing Saffron Beach, of course, because she, she's got a bit of a following now. She's a popular filly. How important was it to her just to have a, as much as anything, an away day as well, given that all of her racing and, and the fact that she's trained at Newmarket, all of her racing has been there. How important was it to get her away from Newmarket today as well? Oh, yeah, no, very important. Like you said, she's um, had four runs on the rolling mile, and um, so we had to see what her temperament was like. Uh, the good news is we got stuck in traffic on the way down, so we're 45 minutes late getting here, which I think showed that, you know, with a traffic jam we had to stand still. That that was good to see. And um, and then we're here and, you know, there's some people out there in the middle with dogs and, you know, a few kitties running around, so that was good for her to see all that. What did you think of her on the track this morning? Of course, they're not going at racing pace, as they will be a week on Friday, but, but it is a unique race course here, isn't it? Yes. Um, well, I think she came down the hill absolutely fine. She changed her legs coming into the straight, and Adam was, you know, he's on board, so we can only take his feedback. But what we saw visually, she handled it for me. Obviously, in recent times, there's been, after her heroics at Newmarket, finishing second in the Giddies, there was, there was real talk and real suggestion of Ireland, but it's now Epsom instead. What was the decision-making there in, in changing the mind? Um, I think the owners were able to watch all the trials, which was important, and, you know, you had Chester, York, Lingfield, they're happening all over England, and then, of course, over in Ireland. And I think they were sensible. They didn't jump the gun the next day after the Guineas to say. And so it was just patience and waiting. And then um, here we are. What do you like at a time like this? Obviously going into the Guineas and, and the way that she ran there, but approaching the big, big races, how do you deal with this personally, Jane? Is it, is it something you take in your stride or? Oh, I don't get nervous until they're down the start and loading up, to be fair. Um, no just take it as it is but when when they get down there and they're going three to go that's when the butterflies kick in um you mentioned something about her and and coming here and seeing dogs and, and dog walkers on the infield but um this i think will be the first time she's actually raced in front of any kind of a crowd i know it won't be full capacity but it will be a def different sensation for her presumably yes and so having seen what i've seen today um i will go with the red hood yep. to the start and then um, have that taken off by a member of staff, as the rules are. But I think that'll be important to get her down there and nice and relaxed, and, and away we go from there. She ran so well in the Guineas, and I, I just put it to Adam, Adam Kirby a few moments ago, you know, what was the, the feeling like afterwards? And he, you know, he said, I was gutted, I was devastated, but on the one hand, so disappointed not to win, but on the other hand, so proud of how well she ran. Was it similar for you? Yeah, no, I just think, um, Everyone worked hard and it's a long winter and with COVID and people not able to celebrate Christmas and holidays, um, it all sort of, it was a win for us. Finishing second was still a win for us. And I suppose one of the key questions is every time we approach the Derby and the Oaks, of course, it, what's your initial feeling right now about the stamina over a mile and four for her? I think... We back her and Johnny and we do the Adam Kirby each way double. John Leeper in the derby yeah. as well. Yeah. No pressure on Adam, is it, whatsoever? <laughs> he can handle he it. He can, can't he? He's amazing. He doesn't yes. seem to get too flustered or, or flappy about anything. No, I think he gets excited leading into the race. And, um, and obviously he's had a feel off both horses today. And I'd say everyone's in there on their mobiles doing each way doubles. <laughs> and look, the Bally Doyle battalions, they come yes. over each and every yeah. year. But it, you, you're going to go to war with a proper filly here. That, that probably is the feeling from within the camp, isn't it? Everything she's done so far, in a short career as well, only four races, everything she's done so far suggests she's right up there with the best of them. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, we can only race with what we're racing against, so to speak. So throw her in here and we'll see how good she is. And I believe that when she has that last furlong, whether it's good to firm or soft, she'll, she'll run her heart out to the line. But presumably, given the weather we've had over the next week and a half, you'll be hoping for a bit more of the sun rather than the rain with her? I don't think it really matters with her. The weather won't bother me. The draw will be more important than the weather for me. That's the thing. I think I just get that feeling that everything that's in your control you're happy with, but things like the draw and, well, that's out of your control and you deal with it on the day, don't you? Yeah. So let's see what happens. Um, it'd be nice to sort of, I think, be four or five. Yeah.
We wish you the very best of luck. She's a lovely filly and it was really good to see her this morning. Jane, best Great. of luck with her. Thank you very much.